Hey everyone, here's a look into my completed diarist journal. So for documenting your days, I wanted to share with you different ways on how you can document about your daily life. And this is actually my personal life book wherein I share with you a couple of things that I have documented throughout the year. I feel like this has been a testament to my personal growth as an artist and author as well as just a regular human being in this world. So I do hope you enjoy this little flip through and you'll probably see some of the pages that I will be sharing with you when it comes to documenting. So earlier in the year, I added some recaps of the year because I wanted to put in a summary of how each month went by. It's also a great way to sort of reflect as the year comes to a close, as well as my tarot card readings and stuff that like symbolizes the start of the year. Like it's kind of like a blueprint in some way and I really like having that. And then since this isn't a daily journal and I didn't want to force myself to journal every day, I decided to just add in key dates as well as key prompts that would really inspire me to journal and also to write about future plans. For example, this was the year I said, okay, I want to travel more, I want to explore more places. And so I created different pages to organize that. I also have a 22 and 2022 page spread rather where I write in all the things I wanted to do this year, this past year, and I think I did some of them. It's just nice to sort of create lists and goals and highlights in order for you to be able to have something to look forward to. Also, one thing that I learned from creating these journal pages is that I like to do recaps. So recaps is basically like every time a month comes to a close, I like to do some five things that happened this month because again, I don't journal every day and having that really puts things into perspective. I also put in some highlights like moving to Berlin, you know, um, key things that happened in the month that really made a mark on the rest of the year. also like adding pages of friends like having to see friends actually some pages are empty i wasn't able to document them and write them out especially during the summer i think i was so busy over the summer like so many things were happening all at the same time but it's just nice to have them here and stick all these like ephemera and photos to have some kind of marker of what happened during those periods
one thing I also picked up again during the fall is journaling about my new stationery and new acquisitions as well as getting into the whole fall vibe. I really like uh, autumn colors so I really maxed out on designing and decorating specifically during the time that fall was in full swing. I think October to November I wrote um, things that I'm grateful for key highlights um friends that i really value days at the park you know mundane things that really made a mark on my life because these things as lo- as much as they're simple they actually mean a lot to me and i really really appreciate that because these little things these mundane things really make life worth living i know it sounds cheesy but that's kind of how i put it and i really really like um writing about the mundanity of things and then towards the end of the year uh, during december i did like a december daily challenge which was a bit challenging but i was able to fill up the pages as i went So these allowed me to really take a look at the year at a glance as well as document the last few pages of the year because usually December is a really busy month but I was able to also take a step back and journal about everything that happened even if it was like you know I have like uneven pages it wasn't all organized but I still managed to do them and it was nice exercise for me to look at the year, be grateful about everything. So this is a flip through of my entire journal from last year. I also wrote in some of my favorite movies because of course I do that. Um, it's very important to me to list down everything that sort of happened and transpired in 365 days. This is like crazy how time flies and this is my way of documenting them so i do hope you enjoyed this flip through and make sure to check out documenting your days my class on how to journal regularly and build the habit of documenting your life this has been abby and always be creating bye